Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping back by for another video, and I hope everybody's doing well today. And if you're new to the channel, I'll drop links to our projects playlist and tutorials playlist down in the description, and uh, you can go check them out. Hopefully you find something you want to do, and uh, hopefully the videos will be useful. If you have any problem doing any of those, uh, just drop me a comment. And I'll be glad to help out in any way I can. Uh, so today we're going to draw out a bunny rabbit from scratch. We're going to be looking at the bunny rabbit from behind. And we're going to put three of them together and make a little wall hanger or door hanger. It just depends on how large you want to make it. Uh, so we're just going to make it small and then we'll resize it in the end. So we're going to start by grabbing a square and just draw out just draw out a rectangle again we're not worried about size because uh, we'll resize it in the end I'm gonna scroll this in close enough everybody can see and remember you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel you can push down and move the entire canvas around okay so now that we have our rectangle go over to the left to radius and click the radius button Go up to the top two corners and click, maybe, like that. And it'll just round off those corners. And then go up to the top left and click your selector tool. And now that we have this, we're going to turn this into the bunny rabbit's feet. Uh, so go over to nodes. And you can see when you hover over the uh, the hotkeys so click radius and you'll get something that looks like this and then we're going to use the eye to go right around in here and I'm just eyeballing this I'm not measuring I'm just eyeballing hover right there click the eye and that puts a node you can see the node and then you can grab that node and just pull it in and then go to the other side and do the same thing push the eye put the node in grab the node and pull it in and again I'm just looking and eyeballing it and seeing what looks about right this will make sense to you in just a couple of minutes okay so now we're going to Go about midway here, and we're going to do it again. Put an eye, you get the node, and then pull out on the node until it looks about square here on the side. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. I know this looks wonky, but we it, it'll make sense in just a minute. Then we're going to do that on the other side. So now you have this. So go up and click your selector tool. Then we're going to go back down to the radius tool. Click that. And then these two corners we created, you can just click those corners and round it off. And then click your selector tool. Now, you have bunny feet if you're looking at the bunny from the back and he's just kind of squatting down. So now, we're going to go over to this ellipse and we're just going to grab a... We're not drawing this out. It's not going to be a perfect circle, so don't hold down the shift key. Just kind of drag out something that looks about like that. Kind of halfway between an egg and a circle. And just let go and hit your selector tool. Just pull it down in there somewhere. About like so. And that should do it. So then, with it selected, uh, now you use the shift key and select the bottom portion. And then go over to the left and click weld. Now we have this. Now go up and grab your uh, ellipse again. 
And now this one, just draw it out. No, don't push the shift key. And make it a little more oblong, almost like an egg. Click your selector tool. Then you can click shift and select your other piece. And then click vertical alignment. And with the update, the aligning tools, alignment tools have started to come up this way. Unless I'm doing something wrong. So we're going to, that is not what I wanted. So I'm clicking control Z. Let's try this one. There we go. That's what we want. We want vertical center. I make a lot of mistakes, folks, but that's okay. You can watch me make them, and it'll help, it'll help you to make less. Uh, so now, I think I'm going to spread this out a little bit. This is the rabbit's head. I know it don't look like it now, but it will. Something like that, and you do what looks good to you. And then, depending on the size wood you're going to use to cut this out of, uh, then you can resize this and cut it any way you want. We're going to save it as a uh, as a vector, and then uh, you'll be able to pull it up anytime you want, and it'll be your vector. You can use it in any way you want to. All right, so now we're going to shift, select our bottom portion, and go over here and click well. Okay, now this rabbit needs some ears, so grab your ellipse again, and then just draw out something that looks like that. Let go, click your selector tool, you can click, click Control D for duplicate, and pull that out. So we're going to make one rabbit with two ears. Well, they're all going to have two ears, but uh, the two outside rabbits will have a bent ear. But we'll get to that in a minute. So we're going to fix this guy up here with his ears. And then you can just turn that once you get them sized up. And you can have your rabbit look however you want to. This is just him sitting down, looking away from you. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is weld these, but then we're going to back it up. So select one ear, then select the, the full rabbit. Click weld, and while it's selected, shift, select the other ear, and click weld. Okay, now we're going to hit Control D and duplicate this and pull it off to the side. Because we are going to alter one of these. I could have done that a couple of ways, but that's okay. I, I lose track of what I'm doing sometimes. So I'm just going to draw out another piece of an ear like this. Click the selector tool. Bring it over. What we want to do is make it look like his ear is flopping over from the back. A little bit like that he's got a piece of ear flopping over something like that I guess this should have been a little shorter probably so his ear don't look weird I tell you what I'm going to back up some I'm backing up with Control Z, and I'm going to make this guy first, which is what I should have done to begin with. But that's okay. We'll we'll get there. See, you can watch me mess up, and then you don't have to as much. You'll still mess up, but that's okay. All right. So now. We got this guy. We're going to duplicate it. I just right-clicked and done a duplicate then. We're going to weld this back. We're going to weld that guy back. And then we're going to weld this one onto here. 
we're going to make it shorter like so now it looks like he's got a piece of ear and just pull them together up top kind of like that so he's got a full ear and he's got a piece of an ear this is all going to be worth it folks I promise you'll like it when it's done all right so now he's got a bent ear and that looks pretty good. And then we can add that one to it. Okay, so now we still need a rabbit with two ears straight up in the middle, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll get that. So we will. We're going to take a copy of this and put it into the, the library. And if you, if you don't have an art library, I'll put a link to, uh, you can check out so you know how to create an art library. Now, we have this vector, rabbit would have been here. We're going to go over, it's selected, go over to your art library and click import graphic from project. Rabbit bin here. All right, so there. Now the rabbit is down here with a bent ear that we can call back up. So now I'm going to back this up and get that ear straight because I can pull this one back up anytime I want to. So now. I'm just control Z to get back. I'm sorry if this is too long, but you need to know how to do some of these things. And I remember when I first got my laser, how hard it was to find information. And there's a lot of information out there, but it wasn't something I could understand. So, all right, now we want a rabbit with two straight ears so just select the the body and one ear and then uh, weld and then select the other ear and click weld okay so now we have our bunny with two ears and I'm going to go ahead and put him over into the art library import from project uh, Rabbit, I'll just call it two for now. Okay, so there's our other rabbit. Okay, so now we're going to call back up this rabbit over here. And then we're going to grab a second copy and put over on this side. And with this one selected, go over to Arrange and flip uh, horizontal. That way you have a, a ear leaning off to the right and one off to the left. Now you've got options on how you could do this. You could, if you're doing something really small, you could just weld these together. Um, and then you would have to keep one to show an outline. Or you could cut three of them out and then glue them together which I believe is what we'll do. And then just put the, uh, the one with the straight ears on top. Do it like that, like that, and then maybe cut out uh, Happy Easter and put it on top. But we can put some tails on these guys. And then just put a... Uh, just a burn line, just to show they got a tail. And if you wanted to, if you're going to use it in the house, you could get a piece of cotton and glue it to it. Uh, so just grab a circle. This time hold down the shift key. Draw out something that would pass for a tail. And then you can center it. Shift, select your rabbit and then click vertical alignment 
and this V center. And there you go. And then you could just select that, make it a a line score, just a, a score to to make it look like the tails there. Uh, let's see. Let's see how tall these are. I'm going to check it in inches real quick right here. You got a little switch. You can go from millimeters to inches. And it's about nine inches tall, which is fine. So I think we'll cut three of these out and see how it looks. So I'm going to duplicate this. And again, you can right click and duplicate, or you can select it and click Control D. And you can pull one over here, do it again, Control D, and pull one over here. And then you just need to center these and go to vertical center, V line. This is a version 1.5.02. It just came out a few days ago. Uh, so I'm, it changed that the alignment tools. At least for me, they did anyway. I clicked the wrong thing. <clears throat> I do that sometimes. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's write out Happy Easter. Now, I'm going to put these guys together. I'm just going to group this for now. Right click, and you can group up top right here. This little group button select everything and group or you can right click and group so these guys are about nine inches tall right now and a standard uh, the bass basswood plywood you know is, runs about 12 by 12 11 and a half by 11 and a half something like that and then we will put this guy on top like that and then we'll write Happy Easter and I recently downloaded a font that is 100 percent free and it cuts out really well I used it in the last two videos actually it's called Ballet Harmony and um, I'll put a link to that so you can go download it. But it, it writes out pretty good. It cuts out pretty good, I mean. So I'm going happy. Now notice that this is not yet tied together when you type it out. But if you have the weld option up top selected, when you click the selector tool, it welds all those together. And then, of course, that needs to be a cut. All right, so we're going to write these out separately. So I'll click it again, leave it at the same height. Note again that it overlaps, except for the R. The R didn't overlap, so we're going to have to fix that. Um, click the selector tool. Okay, we're going to make this work. So if you uh, have letters that don't connect, just select everything. You can right click and right here, make sure you convert to path. Now once you convert it to path, it's not really letters anymore, it's objects. And you can't, see how they move individually like that? So I'm pushing control Z to put it back because these these little cutouts are not attached. But what we've got to do is make this, make the A touch the S, and make the R touch right here so it'll cut out as a whole. So we've got to, if you pull, when you're selecting something, if you pull from the right, all you have to do is touch it, and it'll select. If you pull from the left, it won't do that. It only selects what you surround completely. So you'd have to go around the entire piece. But what we want to do is attach these center pieces so we can then weld the 
the rest of the word to it. So pull from the right, grab both of those, and then you can just, you can group them. You don't have to weld it, you can group them. And then the same thing here for this piece and this piece. We have to catch, and if you just touch it with the green line, you can do that. And then this little bitty piece right here, same thing. So grab it, and then group. Now, this you can just grab as one and pull it over toward that A, like so. And you can see that it's overlapped and touched here and here. And then you can shift select the EA and click weld and now you have it all together so now we need this to touch and try to keep it from looking weird when we do uh, I think that still looks like an R and it may cut out a little flimsy if it does then uh, there's ways uh, to deal with that but if you glue it on it, it's going to be fine just be careful with it cutting it out. Probably get it a little closer right there. Okay, and then shift, select the rest of the word, click weld, and there we go. Now it's all one word. And uh, then we will put this down here and find out the best way to uh, uh -oh, we didn't want to do that. We're going to resize these and make them look good. So there's happy. We can put happy there. And again, we're cutting these out and then they will uh then we'll glue them on and you can glue them on anywhere you want to. And when you're working with light burn, it only cuts out what you select. So if we just wanted to cut that one thing out, uh, that one word, as long as that's all we've got selected, it will. Uh, that's all it'll cut. Okay, so we're about ready to get to the laser. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we will cut these all out individually and if I can't fit them all on one piece of wood I'll just uh, switch out and put them on another piece of wood and then you can do it however you want you can uh, if you've got an extended bed uh, you could cut out a uh, a big door hanger I've got an extended bed but uh, I don't need another door hanger so uh, I'll just cut it small and then you cut it however you want Okay, folks, let me, uh, oh, one thing, look off to the top right. Uh, when you do have a, a score or an engrave, be sure to grab that and move it up above the cut line. You want to score and then cut last. Okay, folks, let me get to the laser, and we will get this cut out and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so I believe we're ready. Uh, I resized the rabbits down to about uh, six inches in height. So when you're resizing, grab everything you've got uh, laid out together and resize it as one uh, so everything fits the way you intended. Uh, so, okay, let's cut this out and uh, see what it looks like.
Well, so far so good. Uh, you can see I added these two little backdrops to support the lettering. Uh, so let me put this together the way I see it in my head, and uh, we'll take another look at it. Be right back. Okay, well here's our finished project. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of ways you could put this together. You could make it larger, make it smaller. Uh, you could weld the pieces together. You could uh, make it uh, out of some thicker wood. But uh, this gives you an idea of what you can do. And uh, the vectors we created, so they're yours to use in any way you see fit. Uh, and I know my face was covering up the art library when I was talking about it. So I'll put a link down in the description. So uh, you can go check that out and create one if you don't have one. And uh, if you have questions, just let me know. I'll also put a link for the um, Ballet Harmony font. So you can go get that free. And it is 100% free. So you can use it in commercial projects and i'll also put links to uh our projects and tutorials playlist and uh, hopefully you find something in there that you like doing or something that's helpful and again if you have any questions just drop them in the comments and uh, i'll help out uh, the comments help me to learn because uh, uh february made one year that i've had a laser and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of a <laughs> lot to learn and uh, I know when you get, when you first get a laser, you start looking for how to do things. And it's not as simple as uh, it, it appears in some of the videos. Uh, it's a lot of work figuring out and learning how to do things. So if there's some general questions I can help out with, a laser or a light burn, just let me know. And I'll uh, give you the benefit of what knowledge I've gained so far. So uh, I appreciate you folks watching. It does help the channel grow, and I thank you for your time. Uh, Y'all just take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.